Welcome back to a Mark Leibovit, Leibovit VR tutorial here on Monday, June 8th. And uh, we're going to be looking at two stocks today here on Metastock, FireEye and Verizon. First, at the Leibovit VR newsletters, I welcome you to come in and sign up for our free Vice News Raw letter. No credit card required. It's a weekly report, and it leads in uh, very nicely to our Vice letter itself, which, uh, of course, you can subscribe for. And that, of course, will be a subscription price. But the uh, Vice News Roy is a free report, so please come in and sign up at vrtrader.com. We also offer our silver letter, which is our daily market commentary, our platinum, which is that plus specific recommendations, our gold letter, which covers most of the futures markets, our VR forecaster, which covers our cyclical forecast for the major markets. And don't forget about our Trader's Book of Volume, the definitive guide to volume trading. Here at Metastock, a free one-month trial is offered for the uh, VR indicators. We call it the Mark Leibovit Volume Reversal Toolkit here at Metastock. There are three versions supplied as part of the toolkit, the sequential, directional, and two-day. Here on these videos, as you may have watched in previous recordings, we use a sequential, which posts all positive and negative VRs, which is what I like to see. It's a real opportunity to sign up. This indicator is not universally available. And with a uh, free one-month trial, I would strongly encourage you to give it a shot. I've been using it for 35 years, and it's the basis for most of my short-term trades. So let's uh, jump in here. We're going to be looking at uh, Verizon first. The story here, as you probably recall from the week, was that uh, Verizon has dropped because of fear that a merger between Dish Network and T-Mobile might hurt their business. Alternatively, there was some talk that Verizon might have to buy Dish Network, which might be a negative for the stock. I don't know why it would be a negative, but that's what the street uh, chat is all about. Uh, meanwhile, you can see here that uh, negative VR was formed. Uh, this is a few weeks ago. This is back on May 5th, showing a clear top. We had a declining 533 stochastic, which is what I like to use, as you recall, as sort of a confirming indicator. And we had confirmation as well. And look at the big decline we had here last week. So it was clear that a top had come in here in the stock. You, if we look at the stochastic, you can see that it was a, a downtrend itself during this period. And uh, though there was one little positive ER here in between and one, I could argue that we could have gotten long for that. Usually, as you know, in my VRs, if I don't get quick follow through, I tend to jump out pretty quickly. And even if you got caught here, you would have been short again here. And this caught the, uh, the very big decline. So um, that's the story with uh, Verizon. Let's look at um, let's look at our next uh, play, which is uh, FireEye. We're going to take that up here in a second and pull up the chart and add the uh, template to it. We take a look at what's going on here. This is just about the opposite situ situation. It is the opposite situation, in fact, uh, as compared to the Verizon. So here we have a situation where we had strong accumulation for a period of time ahead of this move. And uh, one of the reasons for that, as you will see um, in this video, is that news was out, but we really didn't uh, hear about it. Welcome to Washington, I'm Brett Baer, and this is a Fox News Alert. A massive cybersecurity breach has exposed the personal information of millions of federal employees. The Department of, Home of Homeland Security and the FBI are investigating tonight the case that could affect every federal agency. So the story here is that actually the breach occurred back in December, and we're first finding out about it now. This is uh, typical of the Obama administration, which has been great in covering up information for the last four years and not telling us the truth about what is really going on in the world, the government. But what's more interesting is we're really at war with China and a different type of war, of course, not a shooting war, though, of course, uh, it can always lead into that type of environment. But here we've had a play in the um, cybersecurity stocks. Other names, of course, are Barracuda, CUDA, Palo Alto Networks, PANW. But here... On the VR sequential, you can look at FireEye and see, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight positive VRs, which is why I like to use a sequential showing the accumulation pattern. And you can see some really nice trades here in the last couple of weeks as VRs came in with a rising stochastic, confirming this uh, big push we saw last week. Uh, probably go higher. Yeah, I like to catch them off the VRs, so I wouldn't be chasing it here. But um, this is, you know, a great example of how the uh, sequential version works and why we uh, put that up here on our uh, website. So again, uh, give Metastock 
a call, uh, go to the website, sign up for my uh, VR toolkit. It's a great asset. You'll see the type of signals that I'm looking at, which all, more than often give you uh, advanced warning to what's going on. We'll check with you on our next update. Thanks for uh, dialing in.